Okay, welcome everyone. We're here to celebrate the retirement of uh, Lieutenant Donald Gansky. And uh, I'm getting used to this, so I'm getting, we've got this down pretty pat. Don knows what, if I'm gonna mess up because he was the one that used to prep these for a lot of the retirements that happened. So uh, we'll try and keep it straight. So uh, first I wanna start off by welcoming everyone, uh, all the officers that are here, the Gansky family, especially all the employees here from Gloucester Township. I uh, recognize uh, Deputy Chief Manazi is with me. Uh, Mayor Mayor is here, and also Assemblyman Dan Hutchinson is joining us. Longtime former councilman is joining us, and we're honored by his presence. Uh, so to begin it, uh, we'd like to start this off by uh, uh, getting us in the right mood. And last Monsignor uh, Mike Mannion, our uh, Gloucester Township Police Chaplain, to come forward to start us off with a prayer. Monsignor. After all the times you sucked me into that. Yeah, <laughs> it's usually the one calling it. Now it's your turn. I'm the one harassing you. He makes me think of a story in Ireland several years ago where um, he was walking past this pub, and uh, next to the pub was a big pond, and there was an old man there with a fishing stick. And uh, it was no fish, just, you know, a pond. And he said, um, <clears throat> how many have you caught? We took him inside and gave him a couple of beers. And uh, he said, how many have you caught today? He said, you're number four. Because <laughs> you paid for all his beers. You know? <laughs> anyway, it went better with the Protestants, actually. <laughs> Winston Churchill is uh, somebody I've always admired because um, he had the courage to do the right thing without really caring what other people thought. He knew the difference between celebrities and heroes. In the summer of 1941, Sergeant James Allen Ward was awarded the Victoria Cross for climbing out into the wing of his bomber at 13,000 feet above ground to extinguish a fire in the starboard engine. Secured only by a rope around his waist, he managed to smother the fire and return along the wing to the aircraft's cabin. Churchill, an admirer as well as himself, quite a soldier years before, summoned this shy New Zealander to number 10 Downing Street. Ward struck dumb by the awe of being in Prime Minister's presence was unable to answer any of the questions that Churchill asked him. You must feel very humble and awkward in my presence, he said. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am but much more humbled, said Churchill, in your presence because of what you've done. You can imagine how humble and awkward I feel in your presence, returned Churchill. Heroes are not only the Churchills and the Sergeant Wards, they're also the people who day in and day out perform the duties with compassion and commitment, perseverance and focus. Sometimes appreciated, other times maybe not so much. But they are consistent in carrying out the day-by-day -day heroics that keeps people safe and police departments protecting its people. We give thanks, Lord, this day for the many years of faithful law enforcement and service of Lieutenant Donald Gansky because he kept people connected. And without that connection, sometimes other people are harmed and even lose their lives. Heroics comes not just through extraordinary events, but by day by day faithfulness and drive that keeps people safe and a community at peace. 
Lieutenant Dansky has the talents, the gifts, the wisdom, and the past to do much good. We pray, Lord, he will use these talents and gifts in the future where this family is blessed for their support and love. May their lives be at peace. And may he always act justly, love tenderly, walk humbly with you, his God. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. Thank you. you have to dress up just for me. <laughs> 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 I had to get that in there. Thank you, Monsignor. <clears throat> so I really want to, uh, you know, we have a great turnout here, but I really want to acknowledge, uh, you know, the, some of the most important people here today, and that's the Gansky family. His wife, Christine. Uh, I know Aaron, I see Aaron here. Uh, Nick couldn't be here today. He's working, he works in the ER at Virtua in Marlton. Uh, I know uh, Don's father, Don Sr. is here, and his mother-in-law, Linda, and father-in-law, uh, John, are here. So welcome here. Uh, to the Gloucester Township police family that you're part of um, to recognize because this is just as big a day for you as it is for Don and we know that and recognize that we appreciate you and uh, we want you to enjoy this time this is part of your retirement as well um, because you're separating from uh, so important work that Don has done Again, as I said, we're here to celebrate this outstanding career of Lieutenant Donald Gansky, dial badge number 164, affectionately known to many of us as Don Don. That's just been heard that many times. Um, that's, I don't, I, I think it was Sergeant Cole that stuck you with that. I, Sergeant uh, Jim Cole, when we worked together, stuck him and the name just stuck, uh, affectionately. Um, when talking with Don this week, uh, we spoke about how he loved, how much he just loved being a cop, how it was a natural draw for him, uh, how, mu how important it was in, and how much part of it, his uh, life it was. And uh, we know it, we kind of take it for granted as police officers, uh, but the impact that it had in his family, that's what they've seen. And uh, we talked about what a great impact Don has had on uh, this police department and this community. Um, we especially talked about um, the positive impact that he's had on so many of the men and women that are here today, uh, those that have retired prior and those that aren't even here today, uh, his Gloucester Township Police Department family, those fellow cops, those dispatchers that he loved and he loved being with. Uh, Don was such a great mentor to many police officers here. He was easygoing. But we also know that he was tough when he needed to be. He was a solid cop, and he was a tenacious investigator. Don was a strong advocate always for his officers, officers he worked with, officers he commanded, both as a supervisor and as a longtime member of the FOP Lodge 206 executive board. Uh, he just recently stepped down as the uh, uh, secretary um, and we talked about uh, how big of shoes that uh, Detective Doug Wallace has to fill. I don't know if he's here and how hard that job is. Um, but that Don did it very well. Don kept us informed. Don's type A uh, personality was that if something got sent out, fundraiser, some piece of notice and whatnot, I know when I would send something and ask the FOP to forward it, it was like, 15 seconds later, it was getting forwarded out, and Don was uh, on top of things, and that's how he operated here as a police officer. As a sergeant and a lieutenant, he was very uh, likable, as I said, um, but very no-nonsense as a supervisor. Uh, his input and advice was sought by many, many that are here, including by me, often. Um, but for those of us who got to know Don over the years, um, we know what was really important to him, the most important thing to him was all of you, his family. Um, we knew it, the job was important to him, but it was his family that really brightened him up when he spoke about you. And um, you know, he's too young to not do anything else. I think he's 44, right? which is, and he turns 45 on Saturday, right? Happy birthday, Don. Um, and. Uh, you know, we spoke about what he wants to do. We talked about that. 
And, um, you know, he really went on and on about how much he's looking to traveling with you. Yeah, I know. He wants to go to Aruba, which kind of shocked me if you know Don. Uh, but of course, cold weather Don is really looking forward to an Alaskan cruise and whether he ever comes back and all that. And a quick story for most of you probably know it, but for those who don't, you know, we have Groundhog Day that's coming, which tells us how many more weeks of winter we have ahead. We had our own kind of Groundhog Day. We knew that we had uh, our own summer weather predictor in Don Gansky because we knew we had eight more weeks of summer when Don posted pictures of closing his pool. <laughs> closing his pool in like mid-July sometimes, ready to be done with it and push on. And he would always post back, I can't wait for the winter or something. But like I said, Don was a, is a very proud father, really. Um, through the years, Don's always spoke about his boys, Nick and Aaron, he really has. Um, you know, as parents, we want the best for our kids, and uh, he's so very, Nick, who couldn't be here because, um, you know, as a parent, he's a successful in his career. He works at the ER in uh, Virtua in Marlton, and uh, that's where he is. And we get that in law enforcement, we just can't take off sometimes. But I know how happy and proud he is of Nick, and I hope he sees this when we play it back, uh, that, that about his career and uh, just the life that he has moving forward. And that's such a great uh, attribute to Christine and you. Um, Aaron, you should know that one of the top things your dad is looking forward to doing is to trailing you along playing lacrosse at Holy Family University. Um, we've always, we've seen you grow into a young man, known you as a little boy, Don bringing you around. And um, I can tell you this on a personal note, you know, as parents, uh, I think one of the greatest measures that we try to measure in our lives is, uh, is what happens with our kids, right? We want this and success in life for our children. My personal note with Aaron, and this is really direct to you, is uh, so years back, most of you know my son David has disabilities, and uh, David was attending the Junior Police Academy along with Aaron. And, uh, and uh, I will never forget, as I would pop in to check how things were going, how Aaron was always hanging out with David. He was pushing him along, helping him along with those PT sessions, you know, because he's one of the laziest people you ever meet, but that's another. <laughs> and, actually keeping an eye on David all through that week and it really left an impression I mean there's pictures of you know the back of their shirts have their names and it said Gansky and Harkins on the back and uh, I appreciated that and I attribute that to, uh, to to Don and Christine about how they were raised even to this day when you see David he comes running up he recognizes you and he wants to give you a hug all the time you've made it a lasting impression and so for you guys, uh, that really says something about um, how you raised your children, which really is a, is a great success. So thank you for that. It per personally means a lot to us. But this is the type of family that the Ganskys are. Um, and that's the type of police officer that Don was. Uh, that same mentality, that same good heartedness going about. And we know how hard that this police work life is. We know Don was on call for many years as a crisis negotiator or as a detective and then running a shift on shift work and uh, as he got promoted that burden of command of taking the phone calls, the worries that the officers happening, make sure that they're safe and that responsibility that is even hard for us to put into words. We know what kind of uh, impact that's had on all you. So we thank you for supporting him through, the th through those years. Um, and like I said to Christine, uh, Nick and Aaron, thank you for being understanding throughout his career. Uh, and you're a big part, a big, big part of why he had such a great career and why so many of us think of Don as a good cop. And you're a big part of that. So thank you, I wanna recognize that. So a little bit about Don's career. He started uh, his career in law enforcement as a New Jersey juvenile corrections officer in Bordentown, New Jersey on January 30th, 1999. Then he was hired one year later with the Gloucester Township Police Department on January 17th, 2000. And he's a graduate of class 33 of the Camden County College Police Academy. 
He was assigned as a patrol officer, a field training officer, and as a shift investigator. And this is, I had my first encounter with Don, had the pleasure of serving with Don uh, when I was assigned as a sergeant, I was a brand new sergeant on the third platoon in 2002. Don was a relatively new officer. Um, we spoke about, and you, over the years, you kind of forget about these things, but we were just talking the other day about, we all had those calls, and the police officers all know they've been here, those calls that you will never forget, those impactful calls that you had. And um, Don and I spoke of two incidents in which um, I know I would put in the same category, uh, even though they were different perspectives, um, you know, they were both incidents that I, we crossed on. Um, the one that I know, and I saw Lieutenant Chris Jones is here, who's had a big part of this one, the 2001 Diana Drive uh, domestic violence double murder arson case uh, that happened in the middle of the night. I know Lieutenant Jones was a sergeant, patrol sergeant that night. I know the impact it had on him uh, and all those that responded that night. And Don was a new officer who uh, it was actually assigned to go with the suspect who had burns across his body. Uh, in a medevac helicopter, uh, flew in the helicopter to Crozier Burn Center. Um, quite an impactful night, uh, uh, and and to have to follow through that, uh, to, you know, very unusual duty assignment for us. But um, I know how it was for him. Uh, how we crossed that incident meant to me. I wasn't there that night, but I was assigned day shift the next day, and uh, I was assigned to detectives as a shift investigator, and I got an early phone call telling me, don't come in in a suit and tie, come in in uh, you know, BDUs and stuff, because we gotta go, we had a bad fire last night, and, uh, and we had a, a crime scene, and we have to go uh, dig out the crime scene with the fire marshal, and that was my assignment that day. I was assigned with detectives and the fire marshal's office to, uh, to work and the crime scene unit of the prosecutor's office to work that crime scene and it was a uh, memorable event for me from that different perspective. The other incident we talked about was a um, another pretty violent incident. Uh, it was an attempted murder case in Hilltop in 2003. Uh, I was a patrol sergeant and Don was a patrol officer and we responded out to um, a domestic that got called in like any other domestic. We didn't expect anything different. Um, but we, um, as we began tactically clearing this house in Hilltop, and there's, I know there's some other officers that were there, um, we encountered a bloody scene, a very violent, you could tell it was a violent scene. Um, you know, we were tactically clearing the house and we encountered a female victim who was still conscious to our horror uh, and he, she had been beaten uh, by her, her boyfriend with a hammer. Um, Don immediately, you know, we grabbed her and, and Don immediately began giving her life-saving treatment. Um, and I'm happy to say that she survived. She has injuries up to this day. Um, but I, I, you know, I won't, I'll spare everybody the gruesomeness, but it was quite a, uh, a scene that we saw. And we spoke about it because we both experienced it uh, firsthand. And we continued to work that case through the night, and we were able to arrest the suspect um, up in Belmar later that evening. Um, on these incidents, uh, Officer Gansky, his officer at the time, made a difference. Um, he was a solid officer. He was uh, one that you could depend on. And there's so many more jobs that Don was involved with. These are just two that jumped out and we spoke about, and they happened to be two that I'll never forget. I could tell so many more war stories, I'm sure many of you can as well, um, but to suffice it to say that Lieutenant Gansky did a lot of good over his 25 year law enforcement career. That's, that's no question. Carrying on, on uh, back to his career, on March 29, 2010, Lieutenant Gansky was assigned as a detective in our Juvenile Family Services Bureau. And then shortly thereafter, because of movement, on July 15, 2010, he was appointed as a crisis negotiator on the crisis negotiation team. And he served on, in that capacity for nine years until December 1, 2019. He was instrumental in the, uh, during his time as a detective and a detective sergeant, which he was promoted to the uh, rank of sergeant uh, and assigned as a deputy platoon commander 
uh, in, on October 25, 2010, and he was assigned as the Investigations Bureau Deputy Commander in Detectives on July 27, 2015. And he was always known to be a team player. Uh, he was instrumental in developing uh, how we analyze crime patterns, crime information, and the uh, predictive proactive patrol uh, deployments that we even, in, we even carry out today were the basis of his innovation and his work and his research on how to do that. And our crime operations assessment that we continue to this day um, was greatly influenced by Lieutenant Gansky, Detective Sergeant Gansky at the time. He served as our Municipal Counterterrorism Coordinator from 2016 to 2019. He was also promoted, then promoted to Lieutenant of Police on October 30th, 2019, and was assigned as a patrol platoon commander. He was part of our Departmental Wellness and Safety Committee, as well as part of our, and coordinating our recruitment team. On March 27, 2023, he was assigned as the Community Relations Bureau Commander, the position that he held up until his retirement today. Lieutenant Gansky was awarded a merit award, 10 distinguished unit citations, seven police service citations, and five outstanding police work letters. He was nominated for Police Officer of the Year in 2008, and Lieutenant Gansky was awarded Supervisor of the Year in 2012. In summary, Don was a very well-respected cop, not only by me and the command staff, but also by the other supervisors that he worked with, and especially his subordinates, those officers and dispatchers that had the pleasure of working side by side with him. Don was a trusted member of my staff, and I appreciate all of that honest feedback and advice that he's always given me whenever I've asked for it. In closing, I just wanna say how important it is for the families, Christine, I say this with all sincerity, <clears throat> congratulations and thank you. Thank you for sharing Don with us. He could not have been, as I said, that good cop without you and without that support. Don, congratulations on an outstanding <clears throat> career. We're gonna miss your quiet demeanor, your dry sense of humor. Please be sure to enjoy this next chapter of your life Enjoy your retirement. Be proud of all that you've accomplished. Remember, this is what all those sacrifices that you made had built up to. You've worked hard for it. Thank you for answering the call to be a police officer. That will never change. It's in your heart. It's in your DNA. Thank you for serving. Congratulations on surviving some uh, difficult and dangerous incidents throughout your career. You had an outstanding career that we are very proud of. Always know that Christine, Nick, Aaron, and all of the Gansky family will forever be part of this Gloucester Township Police family. Congratulations. At this time, I'd ask Mayor Mayor to say a few words. Thank you, sir. Sure. No, thank you uh, very much, Chief. Uh, good afternoon. And, you know, uh, we gathered together again to uh, recognize and celebrate another distinguished career in the Gloucester Township uh, Police Department. As I thought about it, I started to get a complex because there have been so many retirements. I thought, is it me? Um, or me. And then I, I no, but then I thought about it, Chief, and I realized it's actually Tom Cardis. That's right. Uh, I, I, I agree with that. So, I'll agree with that. Uh, but no, uh, you know, Lieutenant, uh, first and foremost, uh, thank you so very much. Uh, congratulations on your distinguished career. The Chief mentioned all of the accomplishments. Uh, and, and so congratulations on that, but thank you so very much for your dedication to the residents of this community. And as I looked through your, your career and as you rose to lieutenant, um, you know, you gathered so much knowledge and, and, and you were able to give that knowledge back to so many of our officers. And I think that's the key to success here in the Gloucester Township Police Department is that we get that knowledge and we look at leaders like you and, and who give and, and, and teach 
uh, our, our younger officers. Uh, but, but um, you know, as I mentioned at Captain Barton's uh, retirement last week, you know, our, our Community Relations Bureau is so very important, and it is something that is really important to me. And I thank you for your leadership uh, with, that, uh, with that bureau, uh, because it, it just really makes such a difference. And as I look at your career in 2010, when the juvenile department kind of was formed, mm -hmm. uh, your leadership too, uh, a chief, and, and, and um, you know, we placed an emphasis on the young people of Gloucester Township. And by you being there and working with our young folks, you know, we looked at the recidivism rate um, of our juveniles uh, that at that time was probably, I don't know, 40% or something mm -hmm. like that. I mean, today it's 5%. It's under 5%. Like, it's working. Uh, we're doing something that's right. And because of you, um, you know, we were able to get to young people and change their lives because we don't want young people going down the wrong path. Look, people make mistakes. Um, but especially young people, if we can get to them early and change the trajectory, um, they, you know, your, their lives are changed and this community has changed. And so all that work that you've done uh, is certainly appreciated. And again, I congratulate you and on behalf of uh, Assemblyman Hutchinson and, and uh, our former councilman uh, and all of our council and the residents of the community, I say thank you and congratulations. The chief mentioned your family and thank you. Uh, as he mentioned, thank you for sharing, uh, you know, um, your husband and your father, um, uh, son with us. Um, it takes a lot and I know it takes a lot. Um, but um, but the wor please know the work that he did uh, really made a difference uh, and, and meant, a, meant a lot to this community. So thank you again. Congratulations uh, for for your distinct. I can't believe you're only 45. <laughs> uh, we'll be 45. I know it's only Saturday. Saturday. You're 45. But uh, no, congratulations. Uh, best wish wishes and thank always you. please keep in touch. Thank you. Thanks. Thank Thank you, Mayor. And now the man of the hour, <coughs> Lieutenant Donald Gansby. Right. Thank, you. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Assembly. Thank you, DC. Uh, for those of you that know me, I'm going to keep this short, <laughs> as short as possible, but I might need to phone a friend to finish it for me. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm here. I'm going to keep it short and to the point. Uh, thank you, everybody, for being here. Uh, first, I want to thank Lieutenant Bryant. Uh, if he's here, thank you for criticizing me when I was making the hoagies for him. Uh, my hoagie uh, making abilities was on point, but uh, he put me on the right path to become a police officer as he was coming into the heritage when uh, he was a young cop. Uh, Lieutenant Stavall, Lieutenant Crabtree, thank you for the knowledge that you've instilled in me over my career, especially during my FTO process. Uh, whenever it wasn't for your help, I'd probably be making hoagies for Lieutenant Bryant still. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank you, appreciate it. Uh, I'd like to thank every supervisor I work for, all my brothers and sisters. Thank you for uh, everything throughout my career, having my back. Uh, everything I asked you to do, you've always done. Thank you to our dispatchers and clerks and everybody that I'm missing. Uh, to my in-laws and my father, thank you for the help over the last 25 years. Without you, me and Chrissy and everybody, I'll make it work. All the babysitting and coming over and watching the kids, I appreciate it. To my father, I've always looked up to you. Uh, I am the man I am today because of you. And I only hope one day my sons will say the same thing about me when they're older. To my boys, Nick and Aaron, work hard and you will accomplish everything you want. It isn't easy, but the hard work is definitely worth it in the end. Worth it in the end. Thank you for everything and making me proud of the men that you have become. Sorry for the holidays, birthdays, special events that I've missed or I had to leave early. I tried to give you guys everything, or everything you needed, so you could succeed in life and make everything easier for you. Life is what you make of it. I love you, and don't let anybody tell you you can't accomplish anything. To my soulmate, my wife, Chrissy, thank you for all you do. You push me to be a better person, father, and husband. Thank you for raising our boys during the times I couldn't be there. Sorry for all the sleepless nights, waking up in the middle of the night during the callouts and missing important events. I owe you everything. You are my rock and I love you. 
Sir. They say, they say if you do something you love, you will never work a day in your life. This is so true. I love being a police officer. Uh, it's been great. When you leave this job, you don't leave the job, you just, you leave a family. Uh, you will all be missed. Remember, don't ever forget where you guys came from, through your promotions and wherever else you guys go. The chief once said, your name will be remembered as good, bad, or not at all. I hope that I remember as the good. And thank you, stay safe. The most important thing for me is for you guys to make it home to your families at the end of your shift, as I did tonight. Thank you. Right. job that the chief didn't mention that I didn't bring up, <clears throat> but uh, Bernie's here probably remember the one day I asked for a tourniquet over in Millbridge, so uh, I'll, I'll get it, but That's cool. that was another good, good day. We'll hear about that. <laughs> good job, LT. Thank you. I know that wasn't easy for you, but you did well. Good job. So uh, as we do here in our traditions here at Gloucester Township Police Department, a few uh, presentations I like to make um, first is our lapel pin uh, to make sure uh, that every officer that retires has that lapel pin they're always part of the Gloucester Township Police family to wear it proudly to events or any other uh, anytime they see fit where they want to stand out as a Gloucester Township Police Department officer so I present you with that Thank you. I also want to uh, present you with your retired lieutenant's badge as well as your retired police identification card, as well as your ceremonial uh, police identification card here. So we'll get a picture. So we do, as everyone, those uh, officers know, uh, we create a badge board uh, for the officer retiring, and we're proud to present uh, Lieutenant Gansky with his badge board with the plaques and whatnot. All the badges that he's worn throughout his career, his challenge coins, uh, his stripes, his ranks, his insignias, everything that he proudly wore throughout his career. It's a beautiful plaque. Uh, also with his commendation awards on here. So congratulations, we're proud to present this to you. Good. Concludes our, uh, our presentation here. We will conclude the event with uh, a final radio call for Lieutenant Gansky. I'd ask all uniform officers to please assemble. Uh, all those friends and family to head on out. Uh, fam immediate family, stay here. We'll escort you out and we'll get you uh, to where we'll, we'll send him off with his final radio call. Thank you all for being here and for uh, supporting us today. Personnel, stand by for a special announcement. Effective today, February 1st, 2024, Lieutenant Donald Gansky, batch number 164, will retire after serving 25 years as a law enforcement officer. Lieutenant Gansky began his career with Walter Township Police Department on January 17th, 2000. Lieutenant Gansky served in various positions throughout his career, patrol officer, field training officer, and shift investigator, before being assigned as a juvenile detective in March of 2010. Lieutenant Gansky was then promoted to sergeant on October 25, 2010, where he served as the patrol division deputy platoon commander, before being assigned as the investigations bureau deputy commander. On October 30th, 2019, Lieutenant Gansky was promoted to Lieutenant and assigned as a platoon commander 
before being assigned as the Community Relations Bureau Commander. We are grateful for Lieutenant Sansky's dedication service to the Gloucester Township Police Department and community. We wish Lieutenant Gansky a long and happy retirement. Lima 164 radio. Lima 164. It was an honor to be a part of the GTPD and serve with all of you. God bless, stay safe, and continue to watch out for each other. Lima 164 radio. Lima 164. Off duty for the final time. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you. One final word for the camera. Thanks.